I'm not sure about you, but I know my whole life I've been taught that I should love those around me. But what I wasn't taught was how to love myself. And that is something that this twin flame journey has taught me and I'm sure a lot of you. And we can see that, know that from our minds, but we have to learn how to integrate that. We have to learn how to embody that, experience that, express that into our daily lives. So in this video, I'm going to share with you four ways that you can grow in love with yourself so that you can create the experience that you desire and deserve within your life, but do it from a place of self-love that will bring to you everything that you've been desiring. Hello fellow flames. In case we haven't met, my name is Dr. Harmony and I will help you live fearless, live loved, and live free. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Make sure you hit subscribe and that notification bell so that you know when all my videos and content come live. So today we're going to talk about four ways that you can expand within yourself to experience more self-growth which is what it takes for you to be able to really truly embody the concept and the idea of self-love. Before we get started, I wanna wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day and I hope your day is full of blessings and luck and that it's all coming back to you for all the things you've done and the rewards you desire. So today I have a special for you as well that is good for the next 24 hours that if you really want to take this self-love journey to the next level, then check out my Reboot Your Soul All Course Bundle. It is every course I've ever created to date that you can purchase for $117. So I'm at this place where I'm releasing things of the past and creating new things. And so I feel like what better time to bless you for having been a blessing to me throughout this whole journey. I wanna thank you guys for following me and think of this as my gift to you. So before we talk about the four ways to expand your self growth, let's first talk about some practical ways that you can put into action, into motion in your daily path that will help bring more awareness to the self love that you need to have for yourself. So the one thing is, is you could start to pay attention to your emotions and to know that it is the emotions that really control your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. And instead of allowing those emotions to be reactive, if you can learn to realize it's the reaction to the emotion that was created by your feelings of being rejected or abandonment or maybe ghosted by your twin flame and realize that the experience you're getting from that is literally happening from your emotion to begin with. So if you take it from a proactive standpoint, then you can pay attention to how your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and then more importantly, your actions are what's creating what's going on around you. Then you can take control of your emotions and you can realize that if I change my thoughts, feelings, and my actions, then I am responsible for my reality. And so by doing so, that allows me to manage my emotions from a place that I'm not being triggered and I'm not constantly feeling the wounds, which is really coming from a lack of the self love to begin with. Something else that's really helpful is if you can learn new skills, new habits, and new ways to implement the new things that you desire into your life. This does take time and it can be sometimes frustrating because we've acted out in such habits from our past that are repeating themselves because it's habit. You know, sometimes when I come to sit down and do a video and I'm trying to grow and expand in the way that I deliver things and my messages, it takes me more time to put into the motion of the way I want to deliver it or the information I want to say or to get more to the point than to getting so sidetracked, you know, but that's a new skill for me. And I've always been, don't put my soul in a box. So it makes me feel contained sometimes, but it is implementing a new skill that takes time that I can learn to say more in less time that makes a bigger impact for you as the audience. So really it's also about learning a new language 
a new language of love communication to really know what that love language is from within and to understand the love language of other people so that we can then begin to communicate on the same level and not take things personal. So really what I'm talking about is we're trying to break some old habits and we're trying to develop some new ones. And that's going to take time. That's also going to take action in a way that you know you're responsible for your reality. And this requires you changing and adjusting your mindset, first and foremost, and allowing yourself to then become more sympathetic and empathetic to you, which allows you then to be more empathetic to those around you. And this is then allowing you to become a better listener, become a better leader, more importantly, and through the process, we're building this resilience. So everything I've talked about is us growing in our journey. And if we're not willing to embrace and body and flow and be flexible and have fun along the way and do it more with grace, then we're staying in the old patterns that is limiting us and we're moving into more of a limited potential as we expand through the self-love revolution, which is what this whole twin flame journey is all about. So before we get started on those four ways to expand your self-growth and your self-love journey, if you've not got plugged into my self-love makeover, it's a 10-day challenge that will help you implement these self-love concepts so that you can begin to gain all aspects of yourself and take the time that it is required to build that relationship with you first. So it's a 10-day process that you will receive information for tips, tools, and techniques. And you will also get my self-care is not selfish ebook. So make sure to sign up for that in the links above and below. And don't forget to comment on how the self-love makeover has helped you because I know for me personally that I have grown through this process and I wasn't sure exactly why I did the self-love makeover other than I was really being called to. And in the process, just like everything else I create, it has expanded me through this process that I'm opening up in this and learning how to love myself even more. So the first way to expand your self-growth for the self-love you have for yourself is to know that self-love is important. In fact, it's imperative before you can have relationships with anyone else. I'm always saying that it is the relationship you have with yourself that is the relationship you have with others around you. And if you desire the one, then you have to become the one. And that that one is the reflection of who you are. And whether it's the twin flame or not, you can label it as the twin flame as the twin flame is the one that you're desiring. But on the flip side of that, if you are thinking that because it's your twin flame and because you have been programmed that you're technically supposed to be together and you haven't learned how to love yourself first, it doesn't matter whether it's a twin flame or not, it's not going to come into alignment. So the goal is to let go of the idea of who that person is and to really learn how to be who it is you want to be with and to use yourself of your desires of what you want in the person to reflect to you what it is you need to work on within yourself. One way you can do that is as you go to look in that mirrored reflection of what you desire is to know that you have to become love before you can basically be loved or to experience the love that you desire. So that means you need to look within yourself at the things you like about yourself and to know that those are things that are going to magnetize towards you like-minded people or people in, that are like that. That one of being your twin flame. On the flip side of that, it could also be that you are strong in that area and that means the person you're going to attract might be weak in that area and therefore your strength is going to like shine light on their weakness so they're because of the yin and yang in that you're both going to get what you need to create the wholeness and the unit that's going to create this harmonization for you both to see yourselves in that reflection of whatever that is and so this is important to allow whoever it is to show up in your life as your mirrored reflection 
and to use every person that shows up in your life as a mirrored reflection so that they can be the image of who it is you are. And then when you look within the image of who it is you are, and you can choose to see in them both likes and dislikes, knowing that that's complimenting who you are, or if you dislike something that in that dislike, then where is it within yourself you need to make changes for? And being open to receiving this without judgment or taking it personal. Otherwise, basically, you're cutting off the side of yourself that means you're not loving yourself and you're separating from yourself. Therefore, until you learn how to create this harmonic rhythm within yourself with everyone around you, including the twin flame that's ghosting you, that is really mirroring to you that you really need to be looking at yourself, meaning you're ghosting yourself, then if you can't see that and have enough love for yourself and respect yourself in that way or show up for yourself in that way or set the boundaries for yourself in the way you need to, then the relationships in the personal one with the twin flame or with all relationships are going to basically be the reflection of your inner state. And until you get this within, you can't have the true love with anyone around you until you've found the harmonic balance within. So the second self-love growth tip is that self-love is critical to the success you desire in all areas of your life, love, and livelihood. What this means is, is that if you want to feel successful in these areas of your life, when you can find the balance I mentioned in the first one within one area of your life, you're going to have that same rhythm within every area of your life down to your mission and down to your daily life and down to relationships with even, say, your parents if you've been having childhood wounds that you've been working through. And you're trying to work through those in a place of finding more self-love through those processes of how you were raised and if you were abandoned and all the betrayals and all the list could go on and on. The key is that you cannot possibly begin to focus on bettering yourself or find your place in your life, your love, your mission until you've came into a place of rising above the limited negative aspects that you have against yourself and your abilities to find more love and passion within yourself to magnify and to connect to all these other areas in your life. It's going to be so important to come into this alignment of all of who you are in order to align with all that you came here to do, be, and have. Because if you don't align with all of who you are, you can't go to the next level of the expanded version of you and your life in the sense of being successful to achieve the greatness that your soul came here to experience. And that's what you're seeking is to align with that. And that alignment is coming from this energetic blueprint and template from the highest version of you that's speaking to you, that's trying to get you to take the actions you need to do to step forward into more purpose and more mission and more of a calling of why you even came here. And therefore, to do that, the self-love you need to have within and how you show up for yourself has to be done or you can't show up for these other things that are calling you. That you came here and you signed up as an agreement in your soul to do. And if you're not taking the responsibility and the action for this, you are not fully loving who it is you are and what it is you came here to do, which is going to create an inner resistance. And it's going to make you feel like you're not moving forward in your purpose and mission, which is going to cause you to feel like you're not being successful at it. So to be successful and to feel like you're achieving your soul's mission and calling at the core. You really need to step into the sense of the self-love and know that every bit of it comes from with you within and that you have to fill up your own love bank first to show up for you before you can technically show up for others. So that leads me straight into my third way for you to grow personally in your own self-love journey. And that is without self-love, you're going to burn out. And that's kind of what I was leading up to in this point, that you keep trying to get somewhere. You keep trying to push. You keep trying to arrive. You keep seeking. You keep searching. And this whole journey that we've been going on to clear ourselves, heal ourselves, 
and to go up in this ascension process has literally created a ascension burnout is what I'm calling it because it's forced us to go deep within ourselves to see things, feel things, and heal things to create the self-love I'm talking about. Once again, you can't really understand what that self-love means from the heart until you have fully integrated and embodied it and living it and connecting to it because from the mind we know we should love ourselves in this journey but knowing it from the mind and living it out is two totally different things and so right now in this quantum leap of this quantum shift of the next level of where we're all going into this self-love revolution which is what the whole twin flame journey is about it's about you learning to fill up your own love bank first so that you can then start to focus on what it is your needs are, focus on what your values are, focus on what your desires are, and then begin to show up for yourself in these things and not expect anyone to show up for you in those places. Otherwise, you start to neglect your own desires, especially if you're focusing on your twin flame and trying to figure out how to fix them so they can get it to be what it is you want or what it is you desire when that is their journey and you need that's going to burn you out right there trying to fix anyone or to change anyone you just need to focus on you and to know that when you do that what you need for your journey will show up and will align and will come to you in a place that represents that connection and that version of yourself so what i'm suggesting is is that you begin to focus on your own self care and that means what your own needs are and you begin to pay attention to your thoughts your feelings and your emotions and your senses and that you begin to give yourself what your needs are that's where I mentioned and I think it was in the last video of how I had some clients and myself of thinking all the things we need to get done in our mission or our purpose or at work and needing to get to the you know our desk instead of like taking 15, 20, 30 minutes to do some working out or yoga or meditation and to know that when we do that for ourselves, that gives us the energy we need to show up so we're not being so exhausted and that if we do feel exhausted, then we need to pay attention to that and honor that. But to also know that if you're in that space of feeling stuck, the more stuck you are, if you don't move the energy in it, the more you repeat the cycles over and over and over and over to where you have like an internal chaos that's constantly going on until you let go of your resistance to create the breakthrough to shift the energy from your inner state into your physical reality because we're moving all of that inner state of that self-love from inside into our daily life so it's so important that we show up as love that we share love and that we be love and that we are love so that we experience love that's going to allow us to understand what that feels like so that we are not waiting to have somebody show up and do all this for us because that's not going to happen so the fourth way for you to create more self-growth within yourself is to know that self-love is going to make you happier as a person and as a whole. And I want you to close your eyes right now and I just want you to feel into your heart. And I want you to hear this question, your eyes closed. Do you enjoy walking around throughout your life not liking who it is that you are as a person or that your reality maybe doesn't match or that you're not feeling good enough or not feeling worthy of the things that you truly desire and that being love i mean probably not and definitely not or you wouldn't be here or you wouldn't even be watching this video but the bottom line is it's it's going to be impossible to be happy when you spend your whole life waiting or for happiness to come to you or not liking who you are and not loving yourself, and how can you expect your twin flame or anyone to do that and love you if you can't? 
So if you can't be that person and love that person for who you are, how do you expect them to love you? But when you can come in and you can be a happier person and you can not be waiting for someone to make you happy and you can show up being happy and you can feel fulfilled and content and a sense of peace and happiness radiating throughout your day and in your life, you begin to have more passion and that passion begins to grow. And as that passion grows, then you begin to magnetize and you begin to connect and you begin to relate and you begin to have a reason to show up that makes you feel good about yourself. And if you're not following through with those actions, then you're not gonna feel good about yourself because you're not following that soul blueprint of why you came here. And your soul is going to resist that and you're going to be unhappy if you don't take some action. So I invite you today to start showing up and start taking action towards your personal development, your spiritual growth, and knowing that in taking some action, that is showing up in a place of loving yourself. That is showing up and putting yourself first. That is saying that you have the desire to create a quality life, a happier life, and a life that's meaningful and fulfilling and that's allowing you to transcend the burnout. And you know, that's another thing about the burnout. We can be burnt out and we will stay there but when we can show up in a place that is giving us a sense of fulfillment and gratitude and love and this passion, that will transmute and help you transcend those burnout feelings that are keeping you limited and stuck. And so really this is about going from a limited space into a limitless potential. And that within you, you're feeding your soul, you're nurturing yourself, and you're showing up in a way that you truly are actually wanting. But if you wait to feel like it, you're going to still be waiting. So I can't thank you enough for sharing this self-love journey with me. And I'd love to hear from you what you've experienced through the whole process. And if you're just picking up on this, make sure to go back and fill in the blanks of the ones that you've missed. And let me know what you've learned from this and that if it's helped you and you know what maybe your number one takeaway is from the whole process. And again, if you did not get plugged into that self-care is not selfish ebook and join the self-love makeover challenge, make sure to check out that link below because it's going to get you plugged in. And I can't wait to see how this has helped you. And I'm sending you so much love light, liberation, and harmony. May you always face your fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Namaste.